Hello members, I just want to give a quick update of um, our app, uh, the inventory management system. So far, so good. Uh, I want to first give you already a spoiler alert. We have authentication working and a uh, with roles and permissions, but let me show you how this works. So if you just go to uh, users, of course, you can create a new user. Okay so as you can see here we have some users okay and two of them we had sent the invite okay so i'm just going to go ahead and create a new user you're just going to use to send an invite and show you the whole process so we have this i'm just going to generate the first name using uh, this uh, here we can have the password i'm just going to give a password that is a little bit uh more difficult because if i try to use this uh this will not work as you can see here password must contain at least one uppercase lowercase and so on and so forth the authentication is cool i'm just going to make this person active and one thing i'm just going to use here let me just say login at 2028 like this this is easy to remember you can hide this of course and by the way uh, this login is a custom input that has all this you can reuse it in all your projects okay uh we could just add a new role we already have roles created but now to actually show you how this works i could quickly first add a role before i add this now look at actually how you add the role. This is so cool. If you just look at a, you first give a role a name, maybe you could just give this one as maybe the general manager. Okay, and this is the role you are giving. You can describe and you say this is a responsible, maybe for managing what, who knows, responsible for a managing all users okay and then you just come and select the modules you want this person to actually control uh, for this i'm just going to go ahead and select a couple of roles so you can just go ahead and uh, just say i want him to have these here have units and maybe roles so you just like select and whatever you just need and just go ahead and save so just created a role for manager now uh, as we said i'm not redirecting you can right away create a new another role and when you are done creating all the roles you want you just go ahead and close this and you can see the new role we created general manager is in here okay so want to use this want to use this role okay we want to create this created role and by the way another cool thing with the roles if you go to edit you see that all the roles the way you created them they are still present i can just go ahead and say you can also control maybe the suppliers and update so the update is really so cool and for the update yeah for it we redirect back here okay so we created a new role let's go and use this new role in the users so you go back to user let's create a new user i'm just going to use the fake filter here for purposes of saving time and we're just going to stick to the login 2025 uh just say maybe login 2025 like so so just go here let's select the general manager that we just created here and now we can add this person a profile picture okay uh, so let's just go ahead and get a profile picture for this person and why not use mine so you can just go here and of course the image is big so if the image is big please uh, it will give an error we have a maximum of 1 mb so you need to select an image that is within those means uh, let me just go ahead and select this image though this um his turn to is that let's go ahead and select um uh let me just go ahead and select uh, maybe this any of these ones uh let me select this one let me see 
So, and by the way, uh, here we are already on a hosted version. You may think this is on localhost. We are on a hosted version. Okay, so I'm just saving this user. Okay, created. So you could just go ahead and create a couple of users if you wanted. But for purposes of demonstration, I'm just going to stop on that. And if you create a new user, you can see the image. We have this and we have the role. And by the way, showing the role onto this, you may think it is an easy uh, trick, but this role actually is not directly attached onto the user model. So it is just having some trick to show, uh, to show the, uh, so in this table, to show some fields from another table, we really used a nice trick to do that. But right now, sending a and seeing this user actually logging in and doing all this stuff. So if you just go ahead here and um, we send an invite, first of all, this email here, we can open it uh, on Maidenate or something like that. I'm just going to go to Maidenate and I can just simply paste this email here and open it. And so that we just send an invite to it. So we can just go ahead and send an invite. like so and you see that after sending an invite um you will see that uh, if uh, i guess i refresh this one should just change uh, into like red so that the invite was sent and if you check this side you have an email with an invite now look at this email let's just look at the email welcome to stockfy it specifies the role that you have been given calls your name here and they tell you the manager has invited you to this as a general manager as you can see here they even have a role that you are given here and then they give you uh the login uh credentials okay this is so so good okay so we give you all these details you are going to use to log in okay so if i just come here we also send you the login link. I'm not sure if this is pointing to the right uh, thing. Uh, we might have not actually. It is still pointing to localhost uh, 3000 login, but this should be actually working on the live version. So let me just use these details. As you remember, this is the email. So I just copy this email. And go to the live version. I'm just going to log out. So you already have a user logged in. I'm just going to go ahead and log out. Okay. Uh, just log out. And it's here we are on the login. No user is authenticated. Let me just go ahead and use these details we sent this person on the email. So the password you can see is login 2025. I'm just going to paste it here and let's try to actually log in. And you can see there is no creating account for now because all the users in the system are controlled by the admin. Okay, so you can see here the image of this person. We have it here and all the nice details. You can see his name. You can see his all these details. And you have this nice, uh, I like this uh, whole pop up. It is looking cool. Uh, so that's it. so far with the roles, we have gone that extra and we have all these uh, permissions uh, attached to this role. And that's what you're going to be looking in our next episode. So if you are so happy to join the course, uh, just head to this link. I'm just going to leave this link with you. Just hit it and let's join and be together in this class.